The historic fortress town of Concarneau is one of the most popular coastal destinations of Brittany. The old village centre, surrounded by strong walls, is worth a visit for its attractive architecture or for trying a traditional Breton restaurant. Nearby, the small covered market, with about 15 food artisans, is the place of choice for the locals to plan their special meals. The cold water of Brittany produces some of the finest seafood in France, and those sea spiders are so sweet, so delicious. And here in this shop, they cook them for you, so you can take them home ready to eat. This savory pancake called galette is made with buckwheat flour and is the most popular specialty of Brittany. In a bowl, I place some buckwheat flour with water, an egg, and a little salt and pepper, and mix until very smooth. I cover it and rest it for at least one hour. Next, I pour some mixture in the center of the hot buttered pan and spread it thinly. Back with flour has the bonus of being gluten-free. Once the first side is cooked, I break an egg in the center and spread the white a little. I sprinkle a little cheese and a few ham pieces around the yolk. I carefully fold in the edge of the galette to almost reach the yolk and brush the edges with a little melted butter. Once it's cooked, I transfer the galette to a serving plate. This galette à l'œuf et au jambon is a great party dish. The Hotel La Butte in the village of Pluidaire in the north of the region enjoys picturesque views of the coast. Nicolas Conroux, the chef owner and his team of chefs, cook superb food. Nous, alors on est dans la campagne, on est en Bretagne, dans le Finistère, parce que d'abord on est sur la terre et ensuite sur la mer. C'est intéressant de lier ces deux et on n'a que des produits frais en fait. A box of freshly harvested crisp green asparagus has just been delivered. A chef hurriedly prepares a pile of wild mushrooms. On aime bien aller chercher nos légumes parce que on rencontre le producteur, on parle du légume. Vegetarian guests are not forgotten as the chefs transform delicate vegetables into seasonal gourmet feasts. Naturally, in Brittany, fish is the star food. En fait, on change de poisson tous les jours en fonction de ce que le pêcheur va nous ramener. Ce soir, Roll nous a apporté de la lotte, des grosses queues de lotte, et puis une barbue du Saint-Pierre. Nicolas' fish dishes look both elegant and appetizing. He wants me to try his special dish of fresh local abalone. It is simply coated in flour, skillfully pan-fried, and served with a sharp butter sauce. It has a pleasantly firm yet tender texture and an amazing taste of the sea. The dessert that follows is spectacular. It has a light meringue base topped with coconut slivers, a coconut sorbet covered with a transparent sugar bubble and is served with a locally made creamy fermented milk. Interestingly, Nicola is a self-taught chef. Et ça, je crois que c'est la première qualité pour les cuisiniers, c'est d'être gourmand. Tomorrow, I'm still in Brittany, in Mur de Bretagne, to taste some great food.